here we have another bien. This time something I ordinarily would not go out of my way for or pay any money for. And in fact I didn't go out of my way or pay any money for this. I picked this up off the curb. And this is a weird one because it's in excellent condition. I'm pretty sure that it's never even been used. Guard is clean. And you know that it's really got no hours on it when these plastic guards are still clean because pretty much nobody goes through and cleans every single slat individually. Some people might wipe down the front guard or wipe down the blades or something, but I really don't think that anybody goes through and cleans those plastic guards. It looks perfectly fine from the front. And when we come around the back, yeah, the guard is clean and everything looks fine. But then the motor is all busted up and the cord is all busted up. I think this is the most patched up cord I've ever seen. This is abysmal. And it actually looks like this has some kind of sun damage to it. Which is weird because the rest of the fan does not really have a lot of indication of uh, sun damage. Or maybe the Maybe this portion's a little bit yellowed as well. But this is odd. It seems like it was never used. And the cord is just beat up and the motor housing's all busted up. It's very strange. And the base is pretty clean too. Typically these have a model number underneath the base. Let's see if, if this one does. Yep, it does. So this is the Lasco Type 18P VN. It's the white model, so it's got to be either the 1820, the 1825, the 1824 or the 1821. I'm not sure what makes the difference. 0.9 amps, 120 volts, and it would appear to have a date code of 11 2010. So it was probably sold in the summer of 2011. So I thought this was much newer than that. This doesn't look old at all. So apparently, this is over. 15 years old or about 15 years old now. I believe that a similar model is still made or sold and I wouldn't think that it's much less powerful or not as good as this one because the quality seemed to drop off in the 2000s and it hasn't really gone down much since then. Or maybe it has, I don't know, I'm not all that familiar with the newer products out there. This is an electronics control model, and it has a, it, well, it, this one doesn't have the remote with it, but it can take a remote. I have one of the remotes. I actually have two of these. The other one, I really thought that it was a trash find, but it, I know it came with the remote, or at least I got the remote somehow. I don't know. I don't remember now how that other one came to be. But it's filthy, the other one. And I wasn't super impressed with the performance of it, which ultimately turned out to be because it's so filthy, which I imagined. But uh, this one, I am extremely impressed by this fan. And I'm not, I'm not easily pleased by cheap modern junk at all. Uh, but this, this works surprisingly well. The airflow is very reasonable, and the power draw is very reasonable also. I believe this is an 18-inch blade. Let's go ahead and measure it just to see. I always thought this was a 20-inch, just thinking it's the same thing as the box fans. Yep, it is an 18-inch. Is the box fan an 18-inch as well? The blade anyways, I know the fan itself. The fan itself is 20 across. Uh, the blade... The blade's kind of more like 19, I think. Yeah, so the blade on the box fan is like 
an inch longer maybe. So I guess it's not identical to the box fan, but it's it's of course very similar. It uses a very similar motor as well. That's how most of the Lasco fans are today. They use pretty much the same motor. They just make it a little bit more powerful depending on what application it is. These tend to be a little more powerful as well as the Cyclone model and the higher end box fans like the Premium and the Weather Shield or the Power Plus. I'm not sure if they make the Weather Shield anymore or not. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and plug this thing in. I will find the remote at some point. Let's plug this in and see how it operates. Now I don't know what's up with this cord. I have a feeling that somebody just went a little happy with electrical tape. I'm curious if there's actually anything wrong with the cord or not. There might not be. Let's see. Yep, oh, there's a slight, uh, like a slice out of the cord there. So there is something wrong with it, but it's not anything like major trauma. Kind of a bizarre thing to happen. Alright, so we're testing at 119.3 the volts. I'm going to move this over here. Make a little more sense. Move this over here. And then I'll move this over here so I don't have to keep walking in front of the camera. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Even the, the stupid clicking tilt adjustment still works. So there's a power button and a speed button. It starts off on low. I don't know if we change it to medium, does it hold? It does, okay. So there's low. I'm not a big fan of electronics controls, but for whatever it's worth, those controls are fairly simple. Although they should be lower down because you can't see them if the fan gets in the way. So there's the low speed. And, uh, it's quite strong. I can feel it clear across the room. It's quite strong right up close to it. And surprisingly, it's not all that loud. The power draw is 0.57 amps, 66 the watts, with a power factor of 0.97. So that's really a, a pretty small amount of power being drawn for a larger fan. And the performance is quite satisfactory. I think the metal guard helps a lot. Those thick plastic guards are just not very aerodynamic. They restrict a lot of air and they make a lot of noise. Okay, let's go up to the medium. Pretty good increase in speeds. Much more powerful than the low was. It's getting kind of noisy, but it, it's moving a lot of air. It's not unreasonable noise for the amount of air moved. Of course, something with metal blades would do better, but you have to adjust the expectations to fit the product. This is 0.71 amps, 85 the watts, with a power factor of 1. So the motor is at least halfway decent. It's, it's impressively powerful. I was not expecting this. I can still feel it pretty strong all the way across the room. Now the air does not travel as well as other fans. The, the amount of air does drop down pretty quickly, but it's so much air that it seems to be able to be felt for quite a ways anyways. And now the high. Another pretty good increase in speed. So we have three very distinct speeds. This is... it's not crazy loud. It's, it's getting kind of loud though. But 
again, it's moving enough air to justify the noise. I keep forgetting we have this now. That's very strong. It's even still pretty strong and low. On high, the power of information is 0.84 amps. 98 watts and the power factor is 0.98. So only 0.8 amps for this much air is, is pretty good. Now we'll check out the, uh, the oscillations. Needs some lubrication, but it's working. Let's have a nice slow oscillation to them. Oh, and most notably, the blade is in balance, which is pretty unusual for Alaska or Air King product. It doesn't shake or anything. It's bizarre. I can't even feel it being in the slightest out of balance. Even up high, it's in perfect balance. This is one of the first of, of these cheesy Lasco products that I've ever seen to be in like perfect balance. It's not even just close to, it's perfectly balanced, which is the way it should be. That, some, that should not be something extraordinary, but Sadly, it's something extraordinary in today's standards. And after 15 years, granted there has not seen a lot of use, but after 15 years, the bearings are still perfectly free. So, I'm surprised by this. I was going to clean this up and take it to the Goodwill, because I really just don't need any any modern stand fans like this one. I have plenty of good vintage ones, but I actually think I'm going to keep it. I kind of like it. I could see using this maybe in the living room uh, by the uh, sunny windows or something like that. It definitely does not uh, it does not fail to perform like a lot of stuff today does. And while I would not buy one because these are pretty expensive I am curious to know if the ones made today are still as good as this one from 2011 or 2010, whatever it was that we said it was from.